Hello painting thieves and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations. Welcome to the No Brawl Zone. Guys, you know I'm glad you're here. I'm starting off this video a little bit different. I'm showing you the dry piece. Now, the reason being is I wanted to give you a little bit more information because I came downstairs the other evening to do a little painting and um, I just didn't feel like talking. So I always turn my camera on to videotape what I'm doing. I do that basically for me so I can reference it, look back on it, see where I made my mistakes, see where I can possibly improve a little bit. So let me tell you what I did. I was experimenting and I was experimenting, experimenting not originally by choice. I um, had a 20 by 20 um, gallery wrap canvas, mixed up all my paints, and did a multiple ring pour. My paints were way too fluid, and they just traveled all over the place, and it was just a mess. So when that happens, I scrape my canvas, I save my drippings, I throw them in a big old bucket, and I generally use those later on. Um, as a base coat. Just a base coat that, you know, nobody will see once the rest of my painting is done. So I don't waste paint. So after I did that, there was a little bit of paint still left on my canvas. So I took a large paintbrush, and you'll see it in the video, and I just basically worked most of the paint off, which left me with a black canvas with the thinnest layer of paint on top of it. And I thought to myself, you know what? I've never tried a dry swipe. I don't even know if that existed. But I had all these beautiful paints. I didn't want to store them. So what I did was I did a painting on a dry canvas or a semi-dry canvas. Remember, I took my paintbrush and worked off all the rest of the additional pour that was on that canvas. So the canvas is slightly moist, but what was interesting about it is as I swiped, once again, my paints were very, very fluid. But as I started on my swipe line and worked my way down, the majority of the paint on the paper towel had left it as I got towards the end of the canvas. So what that created was some texture and some depth. So um, enough said about that. If you have any questions after you watch the video, please reach out, let me know, and I will do my best to answer it. But um, I was really pleased with this swipe. I've gone ahead and put it inside this gallery wrap canvas only because it's easier for me to handle. But it is still a little bit damp in some areas. <clears throat> it's sealed up very nicely. You'll see me torch it towards the end and all kinds of cells popped up from underneath. Only in the area where my swipe line was, where the paint was a little bit thicker. Because as I swiped it down the canvas, the paint got thinner. Um, because there was not a lot of paint left on the edge of my damp paper towel. So, kind of cool, kind of interesting. I'm always looking for something new and a little bit different. Love experimenting. So, I thought I'd share this with you guys. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for joining me.
Sometimes just let it 